for 20 years I rode. I maintained order. I enforced the law. And I kept the highways safe. But I left that life behind. Only to lose that which matters most. So what's a man to do but return? To the only thing he knows. Howdy. Howdy. Is that the new intro? No, that's been the intro for <clears throat> for a, for a long old time now. Hang on, I'm twiddling the wrong dial. There we go. Yeah, no, that's been the intro for. Uh, for ages. Unless you've never caught the beginning of an Obi stream. Which is possible. Oh! Okay, well now I want to play it for you again, Bob. Yeah, now <clears throat> Obi has had has has had that intro for for since he started, pretty much. I redid the VO recently, but that's pretty much been it since uh, since Obi started his first ever stream. So yes, chat, I emailed, I emailed, I telegrammed, uh, there was a poster for somebody called Midas who was looking for men to do security. So I telegrammed them as Obi and they telegrammed back saying, uh, I got an interview for you at six o'clock EST, which by my reckoning, reckoning is 11 o'clock my time. 18 plus five, 23, which is 11. So I was like, well, I'm going to stick around then. I might as well just to see if we can get some RP. Who knows where it'll go. And I was like, well, then I might as well stream it if I'm staying on. <clears throat> and then after the interview, unless something happens, I'm going to go and eat ice cream. So bite me. <laughs> so that's where that's going. Oh, also, I made Obi a new outfit. This is his, um, this is his hunting outfit. Just a little something that's uh, easy to get blood on and off. Than his normal day wear. Uh, so I think for the interview, we're going to dress like this. But with his palmade. <gasps> Where did I keep his palmade? Hopefully it's on the horse. Enjoy riding your horse on the sidewalk. Tried biting my ass. <laughs> I love Grumpy Obi so much. Let's go get Obi some parmade. <clears throat> you wait, that'll turn out to be the guy who's interviewing me. That'd be amazing.
Wait, what looks like Ginger's hunting coat? Well, there's pub down here. Gonna see, uh, can't get some pomade. Oh, Obi's hunting outfit coat. It's very furry. He's got anything to sell? No. He's just crammed to the gills with ammunition. But yeah, no reply from um, MSOCOM. <clears throat> but yeah, we raided over to Sneezy Chimp, who's um, who's a deputy. And holy shit. I was just like, you know, I was tuned in for a second and I was like, there are so many of them on the porch. So many of them. Got to make sure I look good for my interview. Here we are. Okay, better. I got to be neat and tidy. I want to get Obi to a point where he's got enough money for um, a Criollo. So let's go reply to that telegram. See about getting this goddamn cat out from under my feet. Wine and dinner parties. Uh, a Criollo. It's a type of horse. Very fast. You again. Yep, that's me. All right, so they said, thank you for your interest in Midas Security. Please invite you for an interview on June 5th, 6 o'clock EST. The interview we held at the Howday Gallery in San Denis. Please confirm me this time is Lorelei Butcher. Reply. Dear Lorelei, I can confirm I will be there at 6 p.m. EST. I'm currently in the city so we'll see you then regards Obendaya oh ah. yeah nothing from uh nothing from MSO sadly but Obi did just go wandering around yesterday just to see who was in um in town <clears throat> all right so we got uh, three bucks on me i don't think i've got much cash left in the bank because i bought a sawn off which is a thing of beauty so i don't know who or what Midas security are i guess we'll find out the damn rush fella
At least there's at least the city seems to be a bit more active tonight. That's nice. So we got we got 84 bucks. So we got we need about 120. So we had to get a Criollo. I saw a tram the other day, chat. There was a tram going around San Denis. Fucking love the trams. Trams and trains. I love it. Placey bets chat. Will there be any law inside the San Denis law office? Come on, give me the damn pitch. Why is it alligator snapping turtle there? Oh no. Interesting. Somebody's clearly very unhappy with the MSO. <laughs> seem to be any law there. Love the invisible gate. Why would there be any law in San Denis? Don't be a fucking mug. What? Don't be stupid about it. Keep your brain on straight. Now, I will just check the gallery though. Howday Gallery, House of Diamonds. I'm pretty sure that's the one I know. And a Glovis. Yeah. Okay. What's the House of Diamonds then? Well, howdy, Goblin. a lot we don't have a lot of repeater ammo blow up a porch i think we should guy forks it well yes the pawn shop will definitely be interested in the guns who uh, who owns that then carmine genovese a dad <laughs> my adopted dad uh, i should have adopted you i'm sorry <laughs> Well, I love, I, I love Carlos. Oh my God, it's a ghost. I will not be able to get much repeater ammo. All right, okay, three bucks is all we got. That's better than nothing. It's one full round again. All right, you take care. All right, bye-bye now. Hmm. 
Lucia. If I ever become a dev for a server, that porch will not be there. <laughs> It was interesting though. We had one of the admins in the stream yesterday who was... I'm not sure if they're an admin, but they definitely help out with that kind of stuff. And they were saying that they'd, they'd really try to be like, guys, go anywhere, do anything. Stop sitting around the porch and just they just don't move. Oh, look, it's locked. God damn it. I wish the Bastille was open. I don't. Does anyone does anyone know in RP why the Bastille is always locked? Doyle's. I can't go to Doyle's dressed like this, but I bet Doyle's is probably going to be locked as well. Uh, shit, where is Doyle's? I think it was an owned property. Uh, I wonder if it'll come back to life then when the REO update's done. Where's the siren? Oh, I got five cents. See, that looks... That looks closed as well. Is it locked, though? Yeah. Uh, in theory, mechanical, yeah. Because I think all the locations... I don't know how granular the coordinates of the map are. But in theory, you could tell where a player is at any given time. Because everything on the server has coordinates. It's fascinating because on wild they have the opposite problem and i'm not quite sure what the happy medium is but um on, on wild if it was a publicly available building as in something you could access in red dead like the bastille or the theater you weren't allowed to rp out that you had locked it so people could would rp owning businesses and players would respect that but sometimes they would rp you know they'd put a detail on the door that says this door would be locked and people would get in trouble and told by admins to not put those details but then similarly players would then just go in and steal stock from the people who are trying to rp a business Now, to my mind, that's an easy thing to solve. You let the building stay open. You let people be able to order food and drink without there needing to be a player there. But you have storage, which is only accessible from the designated build business owners and their employees. Jobs are good. Howdy. It can't be anything that, like, yes, Aragor, in theory, but it can't really be anything that relies on players. 
because it's not a job and you don't want to a put play players under pressure that they have to be around and b real life happens And even, you know, even if it wasn't that there wasn't a menu you can, you can order from when there aren't employees there, at least let people go into the building. Like, I can go into a bar with my own bottle of whiskey and roleplay out having a drink in there, you know? But cutting off the access to the physical spaces is really irritating. What else don't I need on me? Wait. Where'd my 15 repeater ammo go? Oh, did I not actually get my ammo? Well, that sucks. I took my money, but didn't give me the cash. But cash, I mean bullets. Pew, pew, pew. I mean, it's three bucks. I'm going to cry about it, but that is frustrating. Obi used to hang out in the um, in the theater a lot. There was a good group there. Shit, is that wild horses? Is that just a lot of people around medical? It's just a lot of unhitched horses around medical. It's getting fleed. If you don't open that door in five seconds, I'm going to shoot one of these people. Five. Uh, not my problem. I don't have a badge. Two. I'm going to shoot one of these people and let you come outside. You hear me? I've sent a telegram to law. Who the fuck are you? Off your horse. I'm sorry, we got a problem. Get off the fucking horse. Of course we do have a fucking problem. What do you think? Get off your horse. And who might you be? I don't give a shit. And you don't give a shit either. But if you don't get off your horse, then we will, we are going to have a problem, are we not? Well, that depends. What you gonna do if I don't get off my horse? I'll probably, I'll probably shoot you in the face. Right now. Well, I would love to, but I have a very important meeting in about 15 minutes that I don't intend to miss. I'm gonna count to three. If you're not off your horse by then, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. I would listen, sir. Ah, uh, fuck's sake. That's frustrating as fuck. <sighs> <sighs>
Well, that's 10 minutes, and then I got five minutes to get there. They are good shots. Yeah, now the guns work. Oh, some people tried to take you. I don't know. There's something going on at the medical clinic. They tried to take him hostage. They got around Kenneth a lot faster than I thought. I was like, if I get off on that side, I should have a ton of cover running through the church. But yeah. Or OB. And also, in fairness, there isn't really a reason to gun him down like that. Much more exciting to let him get away. Oh, I forget you can rotate the camera when you're dead. No, no, that wouldn't be RDM because we had roleplay before it. We can try and get docs, but... Probably isn't even any medical on <laughs> either. <clears throat> oh no, wait, they were having they had a doctor in there with them, I think. But you can see why people are getting pissed off with law, because how many are on the Valentine porch right now? Where's this meeting at? Literally just behind where the medical office is. <laughs> it's just down uh just down the left hand side street. Well, that, look, and, like, it wasn't like I ran away when they had clear line of sight on me, if you know what I mean. I'm kind of amazed they managed to get shots on him so quick. Because I would have been the other side of there. Well, I guess if they just, I guess, strafe right, and then you got a fairly clear shot down there, wouldn't you? Oh, mister. Mister. Mm, Oh, mister, you, you're here. Yeah. What happened? Uh, I ran into a bunch of assholes at the medical uh, building up there. I tried to run away, but they pinged me in the shoulder. I see. Mm. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I'm too small to, to bring you to this. I will ask these gentlemen. Appreciate it. I think that's the guy's gentleman who shot me. <laughs> Where is law on the streets of Saint Denis? The answer is nowhere. Uh, I kind of want to do an exp uh, uh, do an experiment um, about how far. Gunfire travels in game. Oh my. Are you all right, sir? Well, I got pinged in the shoulder. Okay. Do you know where you are? Your name, maybe? Yeah, name's Obadiah. Obadiah Colt. All right. 
right, Mr. Colton, we're gonna check your wounds. You're gonna be fine. You, you know what happened? Yeah, the guy's uh, causing some trouble at the medical office. That was just wrong place, wrong time. Get some it headphones, happens, Mr. Colton. Jesus, please. Got shot by any chance? You know, you, do you know what happened? Yeah, they winged me on the shoulder. God damn. All right. Uh, I'm I'm not a doctor. You, you, should I go get some help, maybe? Hmm. There'll be no doctors in the office, Mr. Colt. How much does it hurt? Oh my lord. Oh no. Well, let's maybe put it we this way. Get Mr. I've Colt had worse. Too. I've had worse. If I had the stuff on me, I could probably pack it and stitch it myself. Are you going to be able to uh, to get up and walk yourself over? Or you need somebody to get you up? Yeah, I can't get up right now. Get up right now. Who's on an open mic? Ah! Yeah, he's all right. He's all right. Did he get he shot? Yeah, he yeah, got in shot in the shoulder. Yeah, there's a doctor. Are you doctors? Sorry? Are you doctors? No, we're not. Nope. Right. I know there's a doctor who wants his office right now. Oh, there is? Fantastic. Uh, oh, you got him? Got doctor, him. right over here. Doctor. It's all right, Mr. Mr. Cold, stay safe then. Right here, someone got shot. Is this your patient? Who is that? Well, he got shot shoulder. Just said his name's Obadiah Colt. I don't threw know that in his shoulder. Yeah. All right, have a good day. I'm so sensitive yeah. in the ears, chat. I hate shit like that. It's all right though. We got eight minutes to my interview. <laughs> <laughs> you recognize him at all? Just put him on the ground. Well, I don't think we've had the pleasure. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I've definitely. Not. What Did happened? You... I I saw you outside. Yeah, some fellas outside clearly wanted trouble. I tried to, I tried to hop foot it down the street. They winged me on the shoulder. I, I saw that. Yeah. gonna cut your beautiful suit i'm sorry well it's okay i'll go get another one got a goddamn interview in seven minutes just my luck i do wish there was a nice way to put somebody down <laughs> rather than dump them oh, like a corpse. Else on it. Oh, cool. just oh i just locked the door <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay for about three weeks. I just need to get some medical supplies. Okay. What a clusterfuck, chat. Hmm. Everybody in here okay, you know? There seem to be quite a lot of them. Hmm. Ah? Huh? Ah? Yeah, I just didn't I know. They wanted me to come out, and they said my friends were going to die if I didn't, but... I mean, what do you do in that situation? Well, whatever you can to keep yourself breathing. Thank God you can rely on the presence of law on the streets of Saint Denis. Yes, sir. Oh, I 
do enjoy this bit. Just for you, sir. Hmm. It's alright, we got four minutes, we should be alright. <laughs> Might have to take my suit jacket off, <laughs> just walk in in just my vest. <laughs> well, I just got shot, but here I am. Mm, thank you. Yeah, of course, I've just... <laughs> I've never experienced that in my over a year of working here. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's just me, but uh, it seems to be getting more and more lawless as things go by. But why would it go? I mean, come on. Even most, most robbers have enough morals not to come to the doctor's office because we're the people who are going to help them out when they're in jail. I mean... I'm not helping them out. What did they want from you? Like, why did they want you to come outside? I don't add up much. I don't know. I asked them. I said, do you want money? Do you want medical supplies? I mean, we can do those things. We usually do them for free anyways. If someone comes here and asks me for money and food and they're polite about it, yeah, sure. Take it off my back. I don't use it. I wonder if uh, one of their colleagues was in trouble, perhaps. I'm still surprised they shot me down. I wasn't any threat to them. You're a witness. Hmm. I mean, you robbed the medical office in the middle of St. Denis. I think witnesses are the last of your worries. <laughs> True. Well, yeah. we were supposed to get law here for a completely different reason. Well, I think if you want law, you better go to Valentine. They're always on the damn porch. The irony is, I've got an interview in a couple of minutes for a private security firm. Mm -hmm. We could use some security here. Well, maybe I'll ask them. I think there's like a movement to get the um, SDPV up and running. That's the other thing as well. Like, you're. you're they shot up the window and some medical bottles. Oh, what a goddamn waste. Ah, exactly. I find it. Yeah, what if we zoom in a little bit? Oh, I can't adjust my zoom now. Um, I don't know if it's the rule on on uh, ranch. I don't think it is. But you're supposed to role play the fact that there is a police force permanently stationed in Saint Denis. They're called the Blue Breeze. Literally, police in the blue coats that you can see um, NPCs walking around. Hey, um, uh, is that a uh, lady in red by any chance I could ask a small favor? Well, I guess not. I haven't heard much from her. You know, just watching and learning, maybe. It's so weird when you go out of body like this and get weird camera angles. <laughs> Lady in red who's staring at me creepily he got gunned down in the streets of Saint Denis, cat. Are you able to hear me now? Oh yes. I can hear you loud and clear. Apologies. I was waiting until she was finna, you know, be finished with you before I ask any questions. Oh, what was okay. the favor? 
Oh, well, my, I mean, it depends how long the doc here thinks I would be, but uh, I'm supposed to have an interview at the, the gallery, literally uh, just down the road. You'll be all right. Yeah, you'll be okay. I was just... Yeah, I don't imagine it'll take too long, but I do need a statement from you. All right, no worries. My Are God! You I'm the Attorney General. God. <laughs> Just what you need. Not law, the Attorney General. Helpful. I saw someone's telegram. Um about something happening down here, but um I didn't hear any shots, so But again, once you're done, I'll ask all those questions. All right. I wouldn't. I mean, I'm happy to give you a statement, Miss. I just wouldn't mind telling the people expecting me for an interview. I might be a few minutes late. I actually know. Uh, was it with Monet? Uh, I was. I didn't have a name for, of a person, but it was with uh, Midas Security at the gallery just down the road. Gotcha. I'm sure they'll be more than understandable about you being a little late. <laughs> Ask about my telegram. <laughs> well, they won't see it. Just gonna you up, all right? Yeah, no worries. I'm ready. I'll help you off off the ground, all right? Oh, well, look at that feel I'll brand new. Well, since you have the interview, I don't want to give you anything opioid-based, and you're also going to be providing a witness statement, so that could unfortunately mess up your ability to recall events. So, how does Venus Hutton sound? Or no medication? I'll be okay. Uh, I've had worse with less. Okay. Do you need any uh, food or anything? I'm a, I'm a little pickish, now you mention it. I don't think I've got everything on me apart from a couple of empty bowls on my horse. Let me see what I have. Thank you, appreciate it. Well, it's also like just RP, um, politeness as well. Like I don't, like I could be keeping players up, you know, that are waiting to have this interview and go to bed or whatever. I do like her glasses, though. <laughs> I'm focusing on the important stuff. <laughs> yeah, you got a pudding cup for me! Alrighty, here is a stew. What's that all right? I like that shirt as well. I love the fashion from this era. Perfect, thank you. All right, I'm just going to slide you this book, if you wouldn't mind. I'm going to leave it locked. Thank you. Oh, it's already unlocked. And just start it off with I, your name, and then just go into detail about what happened. And then if you could just sign it at the bottom, that would be appreciative. Not a problem. Oh, God, I... Oh, beer, dire, cult. Just so you know. Was. There are many GSWs. Riding through San the, Denis. Uh, or when not I GSW, gunshots all over the wall. Went uh, past the medical office. Mm. I was going to go inside to stock up on Within bandages. Window, where they tried to hurt me. When I noticed uh, multiple people in dark clothing to and bandanas with weapons drawn i got back on my horse and was about to leave and i was approached by three people they ordered me off my horse i told them i had somewhere to be they said i'd 
have trouble and that they'd shoot me in the voice face as the lead man counted to three i got off my horse on the opposite side to them and attempted to flee into the cover of the church yard i made it through the church and down towards the telegram office before a round caught me in the shoulder i would estimate there were at least six individuals involved all in dark clothing all masked mainly european accents with repeater rifles fortunately uh i did overhear them ordering someone inside the building to go outside or they'd start killing their friends signed obadiah cult date 5th of june 5th june 1900 time uh 5 45 est telegram oc yeah, let's close it check mine oc 6565 65 1899 oh is it not 1900 yeah i keep forgetting that all right close your book cancel emote here we are all done okay great I also dropped my telegram number in there, so uh, if you need to get hold of me, you can. Thank you. Let me just look over it. Come on, lady. I got somewhere to be. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you cannot change your walk style just yet. That's cool. Yeah, I thought it was 1900 on Monroe. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I keep forgetting. I take a pudding cup. This is perfect, thank you. That's right. I'm sorry, I uh, don't know more, but it was uh, pretty fast. No, that's okay. I wish you the best of luck on your interview. All right, thank you, and uh, good luck uh, keeping this all together. Hope everybody comes out okay. Me too. All right, you stay safe. You do the same. I can't, I'm so weak and feeble, I can't. All right, let's just go off for my interview. Uh, don't mind me. Uh. Howdy. Jesus Christ, how do you do that without breaking Hello. both his ankles? Do you, do you mean do you mean jump onto his horse like a like a like a, like a true agile uh marksman? Except he is the arrow? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Yeah, it made sense in my head. Thank you so much. <laughs> Are you here for an interview, honey? Yeah, I'm a sorry I'm a bit late, but I was a bit busy uh well getting shot. Oh. Uh, are you all right? Yeah, I just been uh, patched up at the docks just down there. <laughs> oh Christ! How'd you get shot and for what? Well, you know how uh, you know lawless Saint Denis has become. Well, there was uh, let's see, five or six fellas at the medical office trying to force the staff uh -huh. outside, and I was oh. I was outside. They tried to uh, shoot me oh. down, get me off my horse, but uh, oh. I ran off down the street to get some what cover, the and they caught me in the shoulder. 
my god! What did they look like? Well, like most assholes, all in dark clothing with bandanas and no courage. Oh, okay. Oh, Christ, I'm just making sure it's not my uncles. <laughs> all right. All right, well, come on upstairs, Sweet Pink. Don't do it! Oh, oh he's thinking about Back it. Up. He's thinking about Don't it. Don't you dare. Don't oh. you fucking dare. Broke my angst for nothing. Oh, that guy's still here. Listen, you didn't break your ankles. You, you're agile, young, and spry. Fuck off. <laughs> what did you say your name was, Honeybun? Name's Obadiah. Miss Obadiah Colt. Obadiah Colt? Nice to meet you, Mr. Obadiah Colt. My name is Monet Tamara. Welcome to the gallery. Pleasure. Appreciate you having me. Of course, of course. All right, we're going to wait for Mr. A. Sinclair to get up these damn stairs. Well, what's, his, what's he taking his time for? I've been shot him on up here. Come on. Yeah, he should really he should really <laughs> put some more pep in his step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm 46 and a half dead. What's his excuse? Oh, Jesus! His excuse is that he will be your future boss. <laughs> that oh, is his I'll, excuse. I'll let it go then. Can I get you a cigar or a glass of wine? I would murder a cigar right now. Yes, thank you. All right, let me see if I got any. I was running for cover, baseball. It's different. Where the fuck did my bullet go? I see him to the manager's office. This this gallery has strong memories for Colt. Very strong memories for Colt. I don't know how long you have to stand like this when you've been injured. <laughs> Where is he? Is he out back? Yeah. Y'all leave that poor Frenchman alone. He's taking a nap. He accidentally <gasps> smashed his head against the bricks, so we had to yeah, move he slipped. Him. Yeah. Baseball, stop picking All on right, him! Alright, here you are, darling. He also oh, knocked you, that you. lamp over. Of course, so. of course. A nice champagne cigar. Perfect. You mind if I uh, smoke while we talk? Oh, no, you're perfectly fine. I will be in here, fellas. Y'all are uh, conduct whatever all the right, fuck y'all right. do. I can't walk. There we go. Damn, I don't have any cigarette. Oh well. Yo, do you want some? Mr. Obadiah, if you'll follow me. Of course. Alright, hold on, there's my shit here. Where the fuck did my neck go? Uh, she stepped into her off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, I'll wait for her then, because she wants to be here. I think she said she just wanted yes. us to conduct business. Yeah, she said go ahead and conduct your business. Yeah, never mind then. Alright, hold on. Mr. Obadiah, start off by telling us a little about yourself. Well, ain't a whole bunch to tell, but, uh, I, uh, 46 years old and spent about half of that time as a lawman. I was a sheriff over in Florida. I moved around a little bit. I used to work in a city not much different from St. Denis, tracking Serial killers, organized crime, you name it, I went after them. And then I, uh, I retired for a spell. But, uh, well, life drove me back to the force, and I came to Monroe, joined the illustrious MSO for a while, and decided that I didn't much like standing around with my thumb up my ass, thinking about how great my fucking porch was. So I've been, uh... Oh, God's name, amen. <laughs> I've been uh, ranching and hunting and just amusing myself for the past month or so. There's law around here. I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, they're like uh, they're up in the woods with Bigfoot, you know, mythical thing that nobody ever fucking sees. Oh lordy, no, that is true. Oh god, my throat. Sorry, just give me a second. That's right. But I'm pretty much what you see is what you get. I s talk straight and I shoot straighter. I feel like that's a lacking severity in the state uh, nowadays, so that, that sounds pretty good to me. 
Yeah. It's definitely lacking in this fucking city. Well, I did have a badge for a month or so, and then they uh, they took it off me because apparently they had so many lawmen, they didn't need one who wasn't around all the time. And, really? And now you can't find one for shit, wow. so don't ask me how that goes. That is... Uh, do you mind me asking uh, where you were mainly based out of? I know that MSO stand, uh, you know, expands across the entire state, but is there a place that you uh, specifically hung around or lawmen that uh, typically stay in that uh, area? Well, I was recruited by a, a fellow named Holloway over in Blackwater, but... Uh, uh, okay. Doesn't suit me very much. I must admit, I prefer... Uh, I think it to be good at law, you got to get around everywhere. You got to talk to the communities. You got to mm. know. You got to know your people, and you got to get them on your goddamn mm -hmm. side. Otherwise, there's no fucking point. Mm -hmm. And I would sit with them on agree, Valentine, hiding behind their clipboards like scared little babies. And every time I tried to get them to go on a patrol, it was like pulling teeth. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That sounds about right around here. And then they. They told me I would have to wait a month to see if I could get my badge back, but, uh, well, between you and me, I'm not sure how much mm -hmm. I'm interested in having it back with them right now. I think they're going through a sort of restructuring as well, so, you know, I don't even think it would be worth it. Well, that's where I'm getting to in my own mind, I must admit. Mm-hmm. Completely agree. Understand. Did anyone else hear that? No. Well, what are you hearing? Someone at the door? No. Right at the door. Oh, uh, possibly. Do you have any goals in life? Mm. Say where you want to see yourself in a couple years? Gee, I mean, Christ, man, I'm 46. Hello? I just want to see myself right. alive. Mm. That's all we can ask for oh. nowadays. Oh, but I will say this the only thing I'm much interested in is keeping people who can't keep themselves safe safe that's right. what I know how to do that's what we've been doing here a lot lately we've got a lot of businesses under our protection right now and for instance the man who just walked in his name's Wyatt he's got the blacksmith down in Rhodes we've got a lot of people fucking with him down at uh, the blacksmith lately yeah, I don't, uh, I don't take, carry much truck with me. I've even heard of the goddamn Valentine General Store getting done over while porch or, uh, the porch pirates are up there, not even noticing or moving. Speaking to, uh, what's her name? Lovely old lady, Edith, and Valentine, and her daughter, her right. granddaughter, okay. Betty. I get so much shit. I like, uh, getting out to the ranches as well. You know, they're so isolated out there. You got nobody looking out for them. I think I actually, was it the person, it's the one we just hired, uh, he works at a ranch, doesn't he? I think we have a few uh, people yeah. who work at a ranch who, uh, you know, protect it when they can. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but, um, I mean, do you have any questions for me? Well, I mean, uh, let's be frank. Is this uh, private security or is this a protection racket? Uh, it's a little bit of both. I mean, it's it's definitely it's more private security. People will uh, reach out to hire us for their events and you know whatever they need security for. You know, we've done escorts for the blacksmith. We've done protection when they're down at like the oil fields and stuff. That's we've cool. done weddings, anything where people would need protection we're kind of there we work the gallery here whenever she opens up for events well i mean if you're uh fairly the straight side of the law as far as that goes and you ain't uh causing any problems to innocent people then that's fine with me yeah no they're not no we don't cause problems but the two of us we like to be able to deal with them Well, it sounds we try good. to protect the people as much as we can. Well, somebody's got to. Yeah, because the law ain't doing it.
Was anyone at the door? Uh, it was uh, somebody from Monet. It's somebody oh, at the door. It's somebody um, at the see. door. <laughs> yeah, they're not a protection racket. A protection racket is very different. I think right now we have A set at 15 an hour. Um, that will change depending on, say, like, if you ever get a promotion down the line or depending on, like, the event, if we get hired for, say, an escort or whatever, and we get a tip that it it might get a little uh, heated out there, uh, the pay will probably increase for anyone part of it. But base pay is 15 an hour. We usually do paydays on Saturdays. If you need the money beforehand, we can always get it to you early. Yeah, uh, what's yeah. your schedule like? Well, I mean, I tend to be uh, around most days, but I tend to be a pretty early riser. Um, so, of course, okay. you got any businesses that are lacking a bit of support earlier on, I can check in on all of them. But, uh, yeah, I tend to run myself under the European stars, but uh, it varies. Sometimes, I mean, I'm around now, for example, and I'll be around for another two hours maybe, but I was around earlier on today for about yeah, sure. four hours too, so... Uh, I'm around a fair bit, but on the earlier side for sure. Yeah, having earlier people actually is really good because there's not a lot of people around early. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, you got any questions, Wyatt? Nah, not right off my head, I don't. Um, I think. I mean, we do have we do have company uniforms. Um, you only have to really wear your company uniform if we're going out on like an event or like a hired uh like a private security job. Well, that's fair. Uh, outside of that, wear whatever the fuck you want. Use whatever you want as far as firearms. Not gonna restrict you to anything. Whatever you're good with, you're good with. You know. Um, I think that's it. It certainly um, seems like a good way to occupy my twiddling thumbs right now. Because goddamn. Yeah, plus, we also have a lot of other um, businesses to keep yourself occupied. If you know, we're not doing anything, we have the blacksmith. We've got, we've got farming down at the MR Estate to make a quick buck. Um, there's a fight club up in Strawberry. Well, now that sounds like fun. It's been a long time since I've gone a few rounds. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a lot of things to keep uh, fellas occupied and money in their pocket. Well, it sounds good because I'll be honest, I like to hunt. I used to work on a ranch, but Jesus Christ, a month of it, I'll go insane. Right. And cooped up doing the same thing for a while. You want to stretch your legs and get out of there. Yeah. I mean, I sent uh, MSO a telegram a couple of days back uh, pointing out the irony of me being on the bench while people are complaining about no law and as you can imagine, I've heard Dick back. Right. So, uh, I know what I am and what I'm worth and what I can do. So if they don't want my skills, then fuck them. Right. If they don't, if they don't want them, they don't deserve them. Put your skills where people will at least appreciate them. Yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ. The last state I was in, I caught two serial killers in the space of a week. So they want to sit me on wow. the porch. So they can buy my ass. That's crazy. That's actually like really, really good. Two serial killers in a week. Well, that was my specialty. I spent uh, probably a month tracking them, finding them, talking to the local gangs. I mean, that's what I do. You want me to make friends with people and get you information, I can do that too. You want me to get information out of somebody, I can do that too. A lot less like pretty, it. but I can do it. Well, I'm back. Everything good? Uh, the other uh, interviewee is here. How are we doing over here? We're good. Things are going good. Um, Did you catch the guy's name at the door? Benjamin. Uh, Benjamin, okay. Benjamin, okay. Is that the one that is written down here? Yes, it is. Um, all right. Well, if you 
Do you have any any other questions for us? Uh, I think I'm good. Well, unless uh, you got another one of these cigars, because goddamn, that's nice. Uh, she might actually. I'm not quite sure. I will ask the lovely yeah, Miss Monet on my way. Yeah. Well, I will definitely be within be in touch with probably within the hour. Just gonna finish up these next couple of interviews. Yeah, not a problem. I'm uh, I'm an easy man. I'm gonna get myself a drink after getting shot. Jesus Christ. What a day. You deserve it. And I got a bottle in my bank. I think I'm going to go and uh, get friendly with. <laughs> I right. appreciate you coming by. That's well, fine. You uh, good luck with your uh, other interviews and y'all stay safe out here in uh, lawless San All right. Yeah, sir. Good of day. course. All right. Good day, gentlemen. You have a good one. Stay safe. I'll make sure to lock the door for you. I love Obi so much. It's a very good price. And uh, when you're talking to people, I would definitely say, you know. Thank you, uh, Ms. Monet. Of course, darling. Uh, you have a good day, okay? You too, and thanks for the cigar. Of course, of course. All right. Thank you, fellow. Stay safe. Yay! They're a nice bunch. I like them. We might have found a good little gang for Obi. Because I'm, I'm done waiting for permission to role play like let's just get on with it plus hopefully it means it'll give me something to do yeah like no word of a lie obi's last two weeks on wild he took down two serial killers technically he took down uh four but one was a group of three serial killers and he caught one interrogated him at sisica held a sting to catch the other two and then he caught another different serial killer a week later. Can't believe we got fucking shot, chat. See, now you could argue, like in my experience, I would probably have got pinged for NVL for running away. Instead of going to people in it. I want actually I want to go and check the angles on that because it's still making my head hurt. Well, I'll tell you what, Bob, I'll play it. I'll play it now. We'll take Obi off down here and go and hide. Howdy. Yeah. Oh. And you can have a little look. If Dev Might's here now, and I'll, I'll play it. I'll just ride out of town a little bit. Can you go on the casino boat? Okay, all right. Give me. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll play it now. And then um, I'll just keep riding. Kept the highways safe. But I left that life behind. Only to lose that which matters most. So, what's a man to do but return? to the only thing he knows. There you go. Clip-clop, clip-clop. 
Hip -hop. I mean, it's not a patch on the Scooter Brown th intro. That has its own theme tune. <laughs> the video is not as good, though. But. Oh, my God. I maybe shouldn't have taken so many painkillers. Oh, my God. <laughs> you miss Scooter. Yeah, I mean, I think, to be honest, like, if, if MSO are going to drag their heels like this, as much as it pains me for Ruby not to be in law, I don't I don't think that's where the RP is. I'll be honest. Not for Obi. I think I think we'll just end up waiting another two weeks to get our badge back. I'll find it frustrating and the RP won't be very good. And then we'll end up leaving anyway. Or I'll, you know, I'll have a busy week at work and I'll get kicked off. And if we end up with like, you know, it's not a gang, obviously, but if we end up with a gang that we're running with, then the RP is only going to go up. And then if we end up doing events and all that kind of stuff, they could be a good opening to him doing his own PI stuff. You wait, we'll get down here and we'll have a telegram from, from MSO. <laughs> Damn horses everywhere. But I do, I, it's like nice being Obi because he'll go to an interview like that and just not really give it. Like, Obi doesn't really give a shit if he gets that job or not. Do you know what I mean? I will flee your horse if you don't fucking hitch it properly. Do you plan on finishing Elden Ring even after you've done the DLC? I will finish Elden Ring before the DLC. Surely. Like how many story got like what four story bosses left easy Four, he says. Well, you got like, what's his name? Godric the dickhead, right? And then, <laughs> uh, and then you got uh, uh, Himbo, Gold Himbo, and then you got Loch Ness Monster. Easy peasy. All right, let's go get changed. Look at all the lore that are in the city as a result of this massive shootout that has occurred and a raid on the Sandini Medical Office. Oh no, wait a minute. It's shut up and there's nobody there. Hi-ho, Silver! I got a new sword, mummy. Yeah, we'll just run straight to her. It's just straight in, done. It's 
seven more story bosses. See, that's basically what I said. Howdy. Hey, how you doing? Nine, including Sword Mummy and the boss before her. Ah, so we'll get that done, what, next stream? Then Moog. So 10 bosses total. Yeah, we'll do that in one stream. Easy. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One stream, bro. Oh, it's like totally one stream, bro. I could totally do that, bro, in like one stream, y'all. Yeah? What is wrong with you? I'll totally do it in one stream. Watch me. I'll totally do it in one stream and I will win. You can do it, Jay. I know, right? What is happening, South African? Why? What's wrong with you, M? What's wrong, eh? What are you talking about? Who's this guy? Get off your horse. I will break your face. Only over I've gone over the fence. Aha! Diplomatic immunity. Do not try to bend the spoon, for that is impossible. Only try to realize the truth. What truth? There is no spoon. Whoa. He is beginning to believe. Lana! I can't believe we've, I've found H. John Benjamin's voice somewhere in my voice box through playing Autopsy Simulator. I reckon with a bit of practice, I can get something close. Nailed it. Perfect jump. Spot on. fly in my office chat it is making me unbearably angry all right place your bets chat how many law will be on the porch Easy, Elden. Easy. Oh, I was excited when I thought it was a B armor set. Now I'm not interested. a mushroom one as long as i look dope gotta look dope how does one look dope as a mushroom uh with great difficulty i don't want any spoilers obviously but for those who have watched the first two episodes of Acolyte, do we have any thoughts? Just like a thumbs up, thumbs down? Because Carrie Ann Moss is bae, alright? Thumbs up. Okay. I are excited. Acolyte. It's a new uh, Star Wars show. 
Like, think like Mandalorian, right? Like a, another Star Wars show like that. TV series. The first two episodes have dropped. Here. Uh, and Carrie Ann Moss, Trinity from uh, The Matrix, if you don't know who she is, um, is the lead. Oh. We got one! She was in a film with um, Samuel L. Jackson, which not a lot of people have heard about, um, but that I really enjoyed. Called um, Unthinkable. And it was Carrie Ann Moss, uh, Michael Sheen, Samuel L. Jackson. burning through my ammo chat Unthinkable was 14 years. No, actually, I have type tracks. That's fair. I swear I could have the other one fell over again. Ah, there it is. I'm not using a sawn off. That's a little bit much. I went, I started another, as you, as everybody I have to do, I started another Band of Brothers watch through last night. And I was shocked to find it wasn't available on any streaming services anywhere. I was shooketh. Like, for free, I mean, just to watch. with dudes and band of brothers uh it's one of the most amazing tv shows ever created all right place your bets chat how many on the porch how many on the porch Seven? It's a bit aggressive. Eight? All right, now you're just getting out of hand, chat. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. 
dirty business. What has happened here? What has happened yeah. here? Okay. Uh, yeah, depends. Alright, well, I'll try to be the kid if I can't find him. I mean, I don't think they're in town either, but... Something happened here. Oh no, there's one! We found one! Are they working? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not get out of hand. Here we get off down to Blackwater. Still got to find my friend right near. Find out what in the hell happened to him. All right, we're right to Blackwater. See if Ray is around. I cut my telegrams and then I'm off. Pack up! Pack up! I um now my brain's just stopped then because I just read something else on my phone is dead. Uh I I I I Oh I still can't believe what happened with Heath. I w I don't want to say anything because I know Jinxy was I think it was Jinx was watching the VOD. So I don't want to spoil it for them. But damn. There's a lot of locals. Whoops, I overran them. I've made my horse very angry, Jack. I'm sorry, Kenneth. Jay, you've streamed all day. Nah, only since two. Was it two? I don't know. I don't know what time I went live today. am your time is now that's only 10 hours
Wash my horse, make it all pretty. I'm going to sleep. I'm just getting to Blackwater. And I'm gonna well actually no, I'm not gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go and eat some ice cream. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Look, ten hours. A normal working day is eight hours, so that's nothing. does explain why my ass hurts though that and all the anal what was that you said about healthy boundaries last night hey look midnight is a perfectly healthy boundary i'm talking about players that go through till seven in the morning Hashtag normalized pegging or whatever your catchphrase is. <laughs> uh, no, I think that's it. I think you got it. Sounds like we figured out what Spaghetti Day's next t shirt's going to be. I thought we were going to end up robbing um, Tig earlier on when we robbed that doctor. I th I was th I thought from the look of it that that was Tig. All right now, because there's no goddamn hotel. I'm just going to have to sleep in the stable. It'll do just here. All righty doodly chat. Look at me being a good boy. Okay, we're going to go find somebody to have a little Ridley raid on. Just a short little Obi. I like that we packed in more into an hour and a half that time than most of the other streams. Uh, Where are we? Jay Britton RP. Let's see who's on. We can raid back round into Sneezy Chimp. All right, we're going to go raid Scoots. Forward slash raid. Scoots. RP. All right, chat. I'll be back tomorrow. Usual places at all times.